thank you very much to, to be here. I know you probably are tired, taking coffee, but I hope to get all your attention. And this is all about, speak about, about games and how we get attention of people. So um, uh, let's go. I'm going to start uh, speaking about uh, when I was 15 years old. It was 1999. And this was my backpack unwrapped when I was in the school. Terrible, right? I, you, you remember that. Um, and it was crazy. And that moment, I was really engaged with games, PC games overall. And I remember in that time that I had exams, a lot of exams, but I, I just was so engaged with, <laughs> with games that I, I didn't study. I, I was always having bad notes, uh, marks <laughs> in class, because I was playing games. So uh, it happened something. I was at, uh, Age of Empires. It was going to, to be released, the second version. Have you played Age of Empires? Do you remember Age of Empires? Who, who played? Yeah. Well, almost all here. Or, or, or I have a video here. Or <laughs> where I received. William Wallace and his bold raiders on your side. The English may be in trouble. But you have a large army with plenty of siege weapons. Destroy the English real William Wallace. So there's any book or any type of learning technique that engage you that as, as a game does. But this is I'm going to talk about. This is a real story. Um, I'm going to speak about uh, um, a few things. One of them is um, philosophers and how, because we speak as researchers or people who make games, uh, commercial games, how, how approach games, uh, uh, time to design games, but also how philosophers uh, speak about playing and games. So Plutarch said, the mind is not the vessel to be filled, but a fire to be kindled, and that's right. So I have a company called Pramineo. Uh, we make games for people who don't play games. We make games for moms. So it's really hard to make games for people who don't play their games. It's really hard. Um, actually, we, we have made several games. Uh, for example, with the first one, Feed My Alien, we were prized uh, in US. Um, even they want to, to buy the IP for STEM in US. Is, uh, they, they want to, to teach girls with technology. So. So they, they want to, to buy the, the IP. Finally, I didn't 
uh, sell it. But, well, actually I'm working on, on the f one of the games of Garfield. Um, and as you can see, we make puzzle games. We are specialized on casual games, on uh, an audience that is women uh, from 35 to 60 years old, more or less. Old. So um, this is the kind of games we, we made. Uh, this is the price we already earned. There are several ones. But the, the ones that I want to speak is GDC or, or Paxis, where we were priced also there as, as one of the best in the, in the games with Feed My Alien. Um, and also I have uh, several clients, local clients like Disney, <laughs> Warner Bros, Marvel, Mattel. Um, we made, for example, for Crayola, we made um, an, an app, an ER app for kids where they can draw directly to the book and if they draw a pink uh, Iron Man they can see on, on the phone directly this character, right? These kind of things. So let me speak about, uh, that was my background and I want to talk about something that several speakers were talking about uh, um, um, before but let me speak more deeply about it. This is how we learn uh, 1,000 uh, after that. It, this is an il actual illustration of University of Bologna. This is, a, as you can see, we already solved this kind of problems like uh, head pain <laughs> of people boring or, I'm being ironic, by the way, <laughs> or people distracted on class. This is changed on 1,000 one years uh, the picture is really different. And this is something that we are talking about. Um, but let me, let me tell you something, even in, in Hogwarts, have the same kind of, of, of teaching. So what's wrong? Why, why it is? Why it is? Let me go back. Let me go to the time of, of the philosophers, of teaching, on ancient teaching. Uh, this is a draw from, from and I don't remember when, when, when it was, but it, it shows more or less how was teaching on, on ancient times. This is a picture of, of Plato. Uh, there's Archimedes there, or, or there's a many, many of, of, of these people. But at that time, there's some uh, philosophers speaking about playing and games. And what, what they say? Plato said, not by force all the children learn, but through play. What happened? What changed on the, over the time? Let me also speak about why, why games are tools so powerful for learning. I, I want to, to talk about this, but also I want to support being on, on, on philosophers. This is a, 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 a quote for one of my um, favorite philosophers. It's Alan Watts. Do you know Alan Watts? Alan Watts, it was an um, English philosopher who um, uh, tried to teach um, Zen Buddhism in uh, Occidental cultures. He was the most famous uh, guys out there. And he was speaking about a lot of things in life, but one of them, it was uh, play. And he was uh, speaking about not learn, but work, and playing. And I want to show you a video he is speaking, he's already dead because he's, uh, it, it, he was teaching his philosophy on the first, uh, first half of 20th century, I think. So here's the video of, about his speech.
Americans have been absolutely harassed in this. Not Supercell because it's not in, in our segment, but King Games. Uh, it's doing, um, and I can show you real. Let me because if I have time, yeah, I have time. Let me go out from here and show you real data. So um, basically, I'm just going to show you a little bit of how important it is to know your audience. Who who is the people who are playing? And a lot of questions about these people and, and, and about the game, not only the people, about the game. Uh, for example, uh, difficulty through whole game. And we can uh, see if it's too much uh, difficulty and we have to change it. Just a couple of samples, okay? I don't want to give you crazy level outcomes, coins spent by users. We analyze. Again, we learn. From the data, we have new ideas, game feature, we code it, measure, learn, build. Okay? Basic um, theme. And let me let me speak about the real importance of, of how we make better games. Normally indie indie developers forget about who is the player. It's the most important thing. You are server a player. Um, so you have to know everything about it. If we speak about game, gameful design, we are speaking about what make people um, make more happy and less, uh, have less pain, okay? So this is a system that creates, uh, if you study uh, basic uh, company structure, you will know this um, uh, business model canvas. It's pretty famous, it's called. Uh, this has saved my life a lot of times. Basically, describe what the business uh, is in terms of uh, structure, right? So you have basically your, your let me put this in, on, on bigger screen. Your value proposition is your product, basically, normally, uh, speaking of games, the product. Uh, your customers, I think this, those are the most important things. How you relate with your client, 
and how you, you go to them. Thanks to the App Store, we, we don't take care anymore about physical distribution or with digital distribution channels. Uh, so you have to study really, if you want to uh, go uh, be on the market, you really have to study what uh, the client wants, the player wants, why, <coughs> and everything you want, everything you, you can, sorry. And how your product can solve their problems. How we solve the problems of our moms that doesn't have any time to play. So we, uh, when we start to make games, casual games, we think, okay, we have to go to a LAN party and say, we have a game. But no, moms are reading newspapers or, or um, clothes, uh, it's going to, to, to stores. So we have to be there and see why and how we can solve this product and how we solve their problems, right? So basically, this is the, the structure of, of um, how we make better games. Because it's not only about the production. I can show you, for example, let me go out. Uh, our last game, uh, let me run Unity in real time. Uh, this, is, this game is... <laughs> So, make a game is actually with the new technology. Sorry. Um, it's basically pretty easy if you compare with about 10 years, something like that. Uh, the, the democracy of, of technology, uh, it's Oh, a dog, sorry. But well, as you can see, we have the game ready, and it's not hard to make a game. The hard thing is to make a good game for your player. That's the real difference. So the same thing for teaching, I think. Who are the person that you are going to teach, and what do you want to teach, and how do you translate that in the, in the user experience, and how they experience, right? Uh, and I teach you that in, in, in the Age of Empires experience that I had, right? So um, it's really important. I want to really focus on, on that part. Who is your audience, what they are doing, and what they want. I can t uh, show you, for example, things. This is our game, My Nightfall, that is working. And this is a uh, Facebook pa fan page. And we, we use um, Facebook fan page as a way of communication with the user. Because on the game, you only can know a uh, few data, like um, is, th is this level too hard or not? You have a data. But if you want to ask and, and speak with the user, and by the way, we are speaking about with user all over the world, we, ha we need to use uh, direct channels like Facebook, social networks, okay? So as you can see here, one of the most uh, common engaged um, publications right here are, are admin, that's social uh, engagement, right? Social engagement. Here we have play inside um, Facebook, win coins, structural uh, uh, motivation, um, and they can play and win some coins. So this way we uh, fidelize our, our users as well. So there's a whole wall inside the, the games, overall castle mobile games, that's really complex. It's not just about making a game, it's just about, it's all about uh, who is the player and how you solve your, their problems. So this, that is basically my presentation, so if you have any questions, please, um, I'm here available. Thank you.